Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kevin. Uh, seemingly, there are number of, or there are endless number of units in physics. And as I mentioned, when I was talking about physical quantities, I don't, I did talk about uh, the 26 Greek letters that are used to represent various units and quantities. Now, these units can be selected uh, to a reducible number of seven. So we want to look at uh, the seven uh, base units and base quantities that we mostly used in physics. So this seven, the first one is mass. And we know that mass is measured in kilogram. Now, the second uh, base unit is length. And we know that length is measured in meters. Uh, the third base unit is time, and we know that time is measured in second. The fourth base unit is temperature, and we know that temperature is measured in Kelvin. Uh, the fifth base unit is amount of substance, and amount normally is measured in moles. Uh, the sixth base unit is uh, what we call current, and I believe that uh, by now you know what current is. And current we measure in amperes. And the seventh base unit is, uh, when we talk about this one, most of the students normally confuse uh, the light intensity. So light intensity. And light intensity we measure in what you call caldera. So mostly it is written as CD. Now, these are the seven base units that we are going to use uh, to derive other base in other units in physics. And these are the effective ones that most students uh, do get confused on. For example, if you have like Newton, you will realize that Newton is a, a driven unit. Uh, please let me just write Newton in full. Newton is a driven unit and it's always with that. This is the SI unit of force, but it is a driven unit. Uh, please, I want you to remember that force is uh, measured by multiplying mass times gravity. Now you realize that gravity is, an acceler is acceleration, so mass times acceleration. Uh, mass is measured in kilogram and acceleration is measured in meters per second square. Now, uh, you will realize that if you multiply these two uh, base units, you'll have kg dot meters per second square, uh, which is equivalent to Newton. In other words, we are saying that one Newton is equal to one kg dot meters per second. So this is the driven unit, driven unit. And on the other side, we have the base unit. So in A-level physics and the S-level physics, you'll realize you'll be told most of the time to leave your answer in base unit. And this is how we're going to set our answers in most cases. So most of our answers will be in base unit uh, rather than uh, the driven unit. We can also talk about Pascal. Uh, and one thing we know about Pascal is that Pascal is represented by PA, and we know that this is the unit for measurement of pressure. Uh, keep in mind that pressure is force over area. Now, if it is force over area, that is pressure, then we know that pressure, force is measured in Newton or kilogram dot meters uh, per second square over area, which is also in meters square. Now the SI unit of pressure will be now be a kilogram dot meters per negative one dot uh, second square or per second square. This is now becomes the base unit of uh, pressure, which is in Pascal. In other words, we are saying that one Pascal is equivalent to one kilogram dot uh, or per meter cubic per uh, second square. That is, uh, for pressure. Now, the same case can also be applied for joules. We can also talk about joules. So let me just give you for joules, and we know how we get joules. 
Uh, remember joules is now the same as kilogram uh, times uh, meters uh, per second plus this, and then we square this, which will give us kilogram meter square per second square. So that is per joules. So this is the base unit for joules. These are number of uh, quantities that we have in physics that are useful uh, for AS level course.